Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over to my channel, Septeria18. I was going to schedule this video uh, next week while I'm away on my little short break, but um, I've already packed my bag and I've done all the housework, so I'm up to date. So I was able to squeeze in uh, some crafting time and a video. So I thought I'll share this video uh, for this weekend in case you want to uh, have another crafting project idea for you to create. Uh, for this weekend and so this is the project that I want to show you it is really really cute very easy to put together all you need is a envelope and a couple of scrap papers um, it is a great little project if you do pen paling or snail mail or happy mail because you can add your letter into the envelope and then add a little uh, flip pocket page to the envelope as well so you can add some cute little fun goodies to add with your letter and you can make it flat as well so you can send this as a flat mail as a standard letter uh, envelope so it will be a very uh, an, an, an inexpensive um, happy mail but yet you still got some little goodies to uh, share with uh, your crafty friend or if you are in letter swapping this is also a great little project so all you're going to need is a envelope and two scraps and i'm going to show you how easily it is to put this together and i'm going to show you first how it looks like um, i've just added uh, some cut aparts from some different paper collections that i have i did add some foam dots as you can see i'll show you there um, to raise it up but um if you are setting as a flat mail, you're probably best not to add the foam dot so that way it sits nice and um, flat on your front cover. So maybe embellishing it without too many uh, foam dots um, would be easier. Uh, that way you have more room to add some little package goodies. And then I added a little, uh, my little uh, tag, embellished tiny, teeny tag charm. It's a little bit of a tool on the top. And it's just a little extra addition. I think that looks really cute there to add that on there. And I've got some crochet a string to tie around the little booklet to create a closure. And then I just placed these little heart uh, shape from a heart punch that I have and just uh, added that to the end of the crochet string. So I'll show you the inside. And um, you can do, um, you can change the way the little uh, pocket page is by adding your own little pockets or little inserts if you like or just embellishing it but I'm just going to show you the base and then you can uh, change it to however you like so I'm just going to push this over to the side so over here you have the uh, cover and then when you open it up this way you'll have a, a place here to add a pocket a little a tuck spot down here if you like you can use it to embellish you could add uh, just some flat embellishments and just add a couple of foam dots and place them on this page i've got a one of my favorite pockets that i love making using my scraps and i've just placed it on here well this is another little embellishment and that was placed behind that pocket and then i've got a little front tuck pocket here in the front here as well for a little tag and this is how the pocket looks like i call it a paper patchwork pocket and again just using your scraps um i really love making these pockets they're so fun and really easy and um it just looks really cute and you can make them any size you like to fit whatever page you want to place it in and then over here is another side type pocket and i placed one of these cute little uh mini coin envelopes um, you can use a 6x6 paper and you can make two of these, which I also shared a tutorial on one of my other videos. And I've just got some little die cuts in here. And it's got a little vellum pocket. Sorry, a little vellum window there as well, so you can still have a little peek at what's inside. And that fits along the side there. But you can fit whatever you like there if you want. You can fit some tags, some um, little journaling cards, uh, whatever you like there. And then that goes back that way and then you open it this way and then there is another side tuck pocket here again you can add some more uh, goodies in there i have a little mini teeny mini file folder and um, a tag that i made just myself just using again some scrap paper and a tab die shape that i have to create the tag and so that is a nice spot in there and it's nice and high as well so you can add 
um, in a larger size uh, tags or goodies. And then this is the envelope where you would perhaps maybe add your letter in here. Or if you don't want to, if you're not uh, sending letters, you can add more goodies in this side of the envelope. So there's another deep pocket there. And then that closes up that way. So this is the uh, little project. So it's really cute. So again, opens up that way. You've got a side tuck pocket and somewhere for you to um, decorate. And then going back this way, you have another side pocket and then you've got your envelope. So it's a really little fun, cute, interactive little booklet with an envelope. So I'm going to show you how to make this really easily. So I'll just put this to the side. So what you need, you only just need an envelope and you can use any size envelope you like to make your booklet. So depending on the size of the envelope, because um, we're having it this way, it's not that way, so you'll have it this way. That will be the size of your booklet. So this is a... Um, uh, envelope for a three by four size card and I use the envelope punch board to make this um, size and I do have these envelopes in my shop as well you get a random pack of four of these size envelopes but my shop is closed for the week but it will open again on the 19th of June and then you can have a look but you'll need an envelope and then you'll need two pieces of scrap papers and I'll just give you the measurements so one of your scrap pieces of papers, you want to uh, cut it at the height of your envelope. So that's whatever height of your envelope, that is how high you want to cut it. And then you want to cut the width at about um, half an inch less than the edge of your envelope. So that, that way you have this little bit peeking out. So about half an inch is fine. So for this size, I cut mine at four and a quarter inch by, uh, sorry, let me just see, I couldn't remember the, by two and three quarter of an inch or seven centimeters. So it was two and three quarters by four and a quarter of an inch. Then you want to grab another piece of paper. And again, you want your paper at the same height as your uh, envelope. And then the width of this piece, you want to add an extra half an inch of from the measurement of your first piece of paper. So this was cut at two and three quarters. So then you want to cut this paper at three and three and a quarter of an inch. That's right. Yes. So three and a quarter of an inch by four and a quarter of an inch. And so that's the, the other two pieces you want. And then if you wanted to add one of these, which I'll just, uh, one of those little tabs on the side uh, for your trim. Sorry, I just, I'll just take this back out this way, which is one of these. I, again, I just used some scrap paper and um, I just cut mine at one and a quarter inch by one and three quarter of an inch. And then I just fold that in half and then I corner rounded the corners and then punched a hole. But you can make this uh, whatever size you like or you don't have to use this so that's all we're going to need for the base so just quickly mention to you as well you can see here I have the cover on the front the cover will be the the larger size paper that you cut so it will be this side so just um, decide which one you want as your cover and that is the one that you will cut um, a little bit longer than the other paper okay so hopefully that was uh, easy to explain so let's go ahead and build this a uh, little mini a pocket booklet with the envelope so with the a shorter piece that's going to go inside the closure like that so it's going to go in like that so that way you'll be able to see a little bit of the pattern here now with this part here, if your envelope has one of these sort of closure, we're going to just trim that down a little because that will be, which I'll just show, that will be this part here to create the little tuck spot on the side. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm just going to cut this down and you, you will just want to cut that to wherever you want, however deep you want that side pocket to be. 
So I'm just going to probably cut one about there. And I'll just show where it is. So it's about that much. It's probably about uh, half an inch. It's about one inch. Just under one inch. But you just make it however, uh, how far you want to trim that down. So there you have that flap. And then we have this piece. And that's going to go in there like that. So what we'll do now is we're going to apply glue along these two sides and along that edge there where the fold line is. And then you want to apply glue to the inside of that uh, little fold, uh, the fold flap of the envelope. And then we're going to bring this piece and we just line it up. And you want to place the edge of your paper along the inside of that fold line so that way your your page can open and close easily like that. So that's how it looks. Now, if your paper doesn't line up with the envelope, you can just trim that down. So you can see mine's a little bit long down here. So I can just trim that down. Sometimes your paper won't line up with your envelope for some reason. Just trim that down and then you'll have that side tuck pocket here. Let me just grab, grab this tag so you can see. So there's your tuck side pocket. This is your page and then when you turn it over you have your envelope. And I'm going to grab the next piece now. We're going to create the cover which is this part here. So with that you're going to grab the, uh, your paper and you want to line it up about the same about uh, one inch or uh, half an inch so that you can still see this pattern and you just want that to be there and then you're going to bring that whole piece of that page that we had just glued bring it over Let me just find the guide again so I'm gonna have it there bring that over like that and then you're going to bring this piece and you're going to fold it in and along that edge and press it down and that will give you that um, it'll give you this uh, side tuck pocket here beside that envelope oops all right so that's going to go like that so when you turn that over that way this is your cover and you open it up so let's glue this down um, but I'm just going to trim this edge first down here where it doesn't line up just sort of line that up first and I'm going to corner around the this part here just to make it more neat and just to make it more interesting for the page so I'm going to slide that back in there now so what we're going to do now is we're going to open this up and we're going to glue there there and along the inside of that fold line And we're going to now just bring that over and then press that down. And that will now give you your side tuck pocket there. And then when you open it up, that opens up that way. And then you have this piece here and then you can just place that along there. So making sure that the fold line sits inside 
the booklet because if you we well, can have a sticking out it should be okay as well but I like mine to just sort of sit just sort of um, underneath that fold so I'm just going to glue that now and that will complete your little booklet so I'm just going to slide that on here now And then I'm just going to go over here with this envelope. I'm going to trim off that little piece there. That way it just makes it easier for the opening. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And that pretty much does your little uh, envelope with a pocket page. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. So this is the front with the little tab. And when you turn this over... I know this string is just in the way all the time. <laughs> um, so that is the next page on the back, which has the side pocket. Like that. And then turn that back over this way. And go back that way, you'll have the other side tuck pocket. Which is that one. And then you've got your envelope on this side that closes up that way so that is the little uh, pocket booklet with the envelope but just to give you a guide it's actually like an accordion sort of fold you can see um, I've just um, thought I'd just show you how it looks like so I hope that wasn't confusing it's just a little simple little uh, project if you have envelopes and you want to add a little page to the envelope with some tuck spots um, just another quick little easy way to create one and then you can have fun embellishing and add whatever you like to uh, your little page here and then um, along here if you like to do that or even on the back so it's just another quick little project for you and i will see you in my next video in a week's time and um, uh, take care everyone and thank you for joining me bye for now